So what's the difference between a successful course creator and just a course creator? Okay, so welcome to this podcast. So I want to say the difference between the two is commitment and learning. So with a successful course creator, they will learn new techniques, they will take on new technologies, they will be ever evolving during their career and offering more to their students. They'll also put a lot of time into marketing. They will have people around them that know what they're doing and they won't be pigeonholed into doing the same thing the day in, day out without learning anything new because they're happy to stay where they are. This is the big difference between a successful course creator and just the course creator. Your standard course creator might start one or two courses and be happy with the way that things are running. They won't look to improve in any shape or form and think that they are doing a great job and not moving on, which they might be. They might be doing a good job, but they won't be evolving and eventually they will fall to the wayside by the successful course creators who will grab all of their students from them. This is a big thing to remember as a course creator. You need to be looking and learning from other people. Don't get into the habit to think you know it all. I've been working in design and even course creation for decades now, and I certainly would not say I know it all. I know a lot but I'm constantly looking at new technologies. I'm always looking at ways to improve. And this is what you need to do. You need to keep going. You need to keep pushing through. Push through those barriers. Get better at things you're doing. Self-analyze yourself. Ask others how you could be better. These are all things that you can do to make yourself just better and successful. So with any of these things, it comes to success, but it also comes to passion because without passion and commitment, you're not going to excel. If what you're teaching, you don't enjoy doing, don't do it. Don't become a course creator if it's something that you think is just going to make you money. You'll just become the standard course creator. You will not excel and you will not be successful. But you all can do this. You can all become successful. You just have to find what inspires you, what motivates you. You just need to communicate and talk to other people. And this is the thing, as a course creator, you should be really into people and enjoy the community and talking about your subject and learning more about your subject and learning more about other student subjects as well. So you're always pushing forward. You've always got that excitement, that drive to push you to achieve those goals. And goals is a big word because you should be setting yourself goals. Even if you can't achieve them, always set a higher goal and then you will achieve the level that you actually wanted. And then you'll push towards that next goal and you achieve the level that you wanted the time before. (laughs) And that's the way that it goes. You just push yourself forwards and forwards and up and up. But it does take commitment. It's not an overnight success. Whatever you've heard on all of these sites that say you can earn five five figure incomes, (laughs) you know, a month, um, it's because they've put a lot of work in. And they're selling this to you. Whatever someone online is selling, they're selling to you. So you need to be ethically correct in what you're doing and you need to be transparent with what you're doing and make it clear that you are. When you're selling something, you're also selling the next step. And then when they get to that step, you're selling the step before. This is basic marketing. But motivation and a successful course creator really requires commitment and passion and energy and constant learning, but make it fun. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. It's all about becoming a successful course creator.